Oh, hey, Monday morning, September the 18th. Just to show you what a cam trail doesn't look like. We get to see. There we go. Okay, you watching? Nice big con trail. Okay, yeah, let's just follow his stream back. Put this down so I don't lose it. That's about a minute ago. It's about two minutes ago. Okay, you watching? Nothing. See that? Let me give you that again. This is what a normal contrail looks like in, under these kind of sky conditions. We're only at 40x, by the way. Hey, there you go. Watch. See what? Okay. Uh huh. So that's a normal contrail under these kind of temperatures, that altitude, and that humidity level. Okay, let's just follow him one more time, just to make sure I'm not spoofing anyone. Ah, fuck! The sun's making it disappear quicker than I can take him in. There we go. Okay, there he is. And there, there's his contrail. Okay, uh, uh, that's about a minute back. A minute and a half back. Watching. There we go. And he is going to Vancouver from Calgary by the looks of the uh, direction of the line. They normally do a straight line once they get on the main course up until the next congestion point or waypoint or whatever you want to call it. Hey, so there you go. Not a cam drill. Big, big, big difference. Okay, uh, let's get on this crew. Um, keep in mind, the sticks are not just you becoming an unwitting metalhead to be subject to all kinds of electromagnetic influences upon your brain, whether it's cell phone or the cell phone tower or, or the TV transmitter that now transmits in digital or whatever somebody sends out over them hydro lines, those power lines, or whatever the sun sends at us, or whatever the unfolded wings of the arcs of covenant. Yeah, th th those were actually just, well, solid state drives that's exactly what they were still are the buggers got their hands on at least two of them now one of them is headed back to the south pole of the moon uh, and if you've been following well if not go down in my uploads list <sighs> they smashed what was there okay the network smashed but Apparently, seeing how they've sprayed the atmosphere with all these metals, well, what can I say? You're all metalheads. Have you been taking MSN? I take MSN. Uh, well, usually, ideally, within a few hours after every contamination event. Because 
it helps mobilize a lot of these metals out of my bloodstream, out of my body, and into my pee. Where I can put it in the back in the ground where it belongs, not in me. Okay, you're gonna have to hold that in the mirror, I can see. Try this again. That was French. And this is English. That's MSN. Eight bucks. Maybe ten bucks. For sixty tablets. Um, always taken with food. And, um,. Uh, remember, this takes all kinds of trace minerals and metals out of your body, which you do need. Um, so, you should be taking multivitamins anyhow, given how poor our diet is. With... Uh, something like this. Very, very cheap. You should be taking these anyhow. If you had been taking these, it has... All the shit in it. Well, that's right. Then you would have had plenty of potassium iodide in your thyroids. Okay. And you would have had the one up on the rest of us um, soft metal poisoning victims. Well, that's the wrong term. Heavy metal pe poisonings from Fukushima and depleted uranium. Okay, don't take that stuff continuously because it does deplete your body. Um, you no, know, it's good enough for me. Mild, mild dose of chemtrailing, one. Maybe I'll take a second one at the next meal, or 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 two meals down. That's all you need. Takes out all kinds of shit. Uh, like mercury leaching out from your fillings if you've got amalgamate fillings. And we'll just end this not a chemtrail report with this. This is ionic. Oh, I, I, it represents a, an ionosphere rupture and an inclusion, a heavy inclusion of cosmic energy that normally would be stopped at the comforter. Before it got Earth. Well, not stopped, but reduced. Right? Induction heating. Cosmic induction heating, which can come from both the Sun and ex interstellar space sources, such as supernovas, magnetar stars, pulsars, the whole gamut. Okay, we're not going to get into that. We're going to make this short. So... Let's get on the chemtrail documentation. We're going to move on this real fucking quick. Okay, we do need some additional mitigation and shielding over holes like that. <clears throat> Not over the whole thing, because okay? we don't want to poison more than we're saving, but over critical areas such as. Eh, Yellowstone caldera. La Palma Island. Oops, uh, where are we there? La Palma Island off of Spain. Right, La Palma Volcano. The one that, when she slides, she makes a tidal wave and wrecks havoc over here. Huge fucking tsunami. Okay, there's others, right? Thing over here, the ring of fire, right? Fukushima Trench, all around here. Okay. Not with ineffective, inefficient mass blanketing of chemtrails that basically turn everyone into a heavy metal head or a soft metal head. Okay. But a blimp over, a series of blimps over the critical areas that they're releasing this technology they're trying to get you to pay for it to justify the carbon tax but they're not going to do anything good with it only harm like pumping sulfur dioxide up there 
under this bullshit greenhouse gas nonsense. So you're going to put more greenhouse gas in? Illogical. Okay. Whilst you're taxing us to make us not put greenhouse gases in. Eh. Deception. 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 Okay. Put a blimp tethered with a, 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 a hose. And there you go. You can you, you can get your gases up 100,000 100, feet. And a small amount that will do big effect on modulating the cosmic rays coming in and causing these cold eras to expand and then blow up catastrophically some of them. Okay. We can do this. Like I said, every cold era is like even the small ones is like way fucking more energy contained in any Iraqi oil field or Alaska North Shore oil field and you take that stuff out and you got big fucking changes you've made in, in the lithosphere, the crust you take this heat out the changes you make is controlled eruptions right? rather than the kind that wipe out all the life on the continent. Look up Yellowstone if you don't know what I'm nattering about. Okay, we can do this. Okay, and in the process, we can solve our energy problems. Okay. Basically, the the waste of the geothermal steam, steam that you're going to generate electricity with, that's that's what nature normally puts up there when these volcanoes explode. And they explode more when we get these this kind of severe space weather. Okay, so it balances itself out. So we're going to take the heat out to pay for the project. We're going to create, create electricity and hydrogen out of that with the surplus electricity during non-peak hours. And then we're going to pump the waste, not at ground level, which has been one of the holdbacks of it when we're contaminating the ground level in Iceland. We're going to pump it up there, where it would have went anyhow, and right over the magma, the critical magma chambers. Okay, and that will keep them from exploding catastrophically. So we're just going with what nature does and tweaking it a little, so as not to have a level of destruction in the renewal cycle of my Earth's life matrix. Okay. Cornerstone. Cornerstone. We need proper chemtrail alerts properly described as I keep telling everyone. Not, not just filming. Time, location, uh, whatever other information you can guess at. Like the direction it's drifting off after you watch it for a few minutes. After you shut your camera off. And I'll take that in. Or put it under more information or comment or whatever okay we need this information you want to solve the energy crisis you want to stand some kind of a chance at lessening the severity of Ragnarok hmm? do you want a chance at survival even if you don't do you want the other creatures to survive that is your number one duty do this that that is your Mandate before heaven. Prove you can do something.